In the middle of the vast and endless desert lies an oasis like no other. A cricketing oasis that is not just a mere destination, but a pilgrimage for those who follow and worship this glorious game. Welcome to a journey through the history and geography of cricket. This is a cricket adventure like no other. A collection that began as a hobby and culminated in an ongoing obsession. A labour of love for a man with an unmatched passion for the game. Someone who had the vision and foresight to convert a mere dream into a magnificent museum. My passion for the cricket dates back to my childhood days. My elder brother used to play and I followed them. In 1981, when international cricket made the appearance in the UAE, I was fortunate to host the Indian team. Ever since the doors were opened in 2010, the museum has seen the who's who of the game grace its hallowed walls. The very best in the game have all been bowled over. Well, he played a bit of cricket during his time, but now, uh, obviously, uh, having come to Dubai, uh, he's kept his interest in the game uh, and uh, the passion for the game can be seen in, in what he has, uh, you know, um, got over here. Amazing. This is, uh, you know, a labour of love. Uh, he's worked very, very hard at it, at collecting all the various uh, mementos uh, from players. Mind you, players are not very... Uh, uh, it's not easy to get uh, mementos from the players because they want to be sure that uh, what, what is very dear to them, be it a shirt or a trouser or a bat or uh, a photo, uh, they want to be uh, sure that it's going to be preserved well. Amazing the attention to detail. I really like the eight pillars here with um, with each country, the history, uh, all, the, all the players and the, the stats and um, it's just, it's as good a museum as I've seen anywhere around the world. I've known Sham for quite a while. Um, this is probably one of the best collections you'll ever see anywhere. And you know, I'm proud to know that at least I'm on the wall. And um, it's great. I think anybody who's come here who a cricket lover or not would be very impressed with what, 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 what they will, will see here. While India's historic World Cup triumph gets pride of place, there are pillars dedicated to every test-playing nation, giving a statistical and pictorial history of the evolution of the game in each country. 1983, I mean, there, there, were, there were obviously a lot more people in the uh, dressing room at Lord's because security was not an issue as it is uh, now. Now I think, you know, there were only very few people there, you know, with the right... Uh, accreditation who could only get into the dressing room because of security issues so uh, I guess probably less people in the dressing room but uh, more people outside uh, to celebrate. played with, with quite a few of the, the players here um, they've captured some great moments in, in the game and, and, and it's wonderful to see that it's, it's done well this is well presented and we should all be proud of it not only um, because we know Sham but being um, cricketers to see that a display of this nature. Apart from all the cricketing history, a vast array of cricket books and the wealth of memorabilia on display, there are several touches provided by Shyam Bhatia himself that set the museum apart from any other. The first is a staggering array of bats, each dedicated to an individual cricket legend, many of them personally signed. Well, I've known Shyam for 30 years now. You know. Uh, Early 80s, whenever we came here to uh, Sharjah, I came here every year from uh, 1980 to 90 till I played the game, then came here as a broadcaster. But uh, our relationship goes a long, long way. You know, he's more than just a friend. He's an elder, he's, uh, he's like a father to me in many ways, an elder brother. There is also Sham Bhatia's own dream team on display along with another of his pet projects, a two-part literary journey into the anecdotal lives of cricketing legends in titles, portraits of the game. The book itself has been launched in every corner of the cricketing globe, including England, South Africa, India, Pakistan and Australia.
along with Bhatia the cricket fanatic, the publisher and the collector is Bhatia the philanthropist. A special corner is dedicated to something rather close to his heart, the Cricket for Care Foundation. Founded in 2007 as a non-profit charitable organization to provide coaching and equipment to underprivileged children all over the world. Cricket for Care is very dear to my heart because I believe in the children. The children are the future of the every nation. And across the room are several pictorial reminders of the annual Shyam Bhatia Cricket Awards that recognize young local talent in the UAE and are given out each year by an eminent cricket personality. The roll call includes Clive Lloyd, Sunil Gavaskar, Imran Khan, Michael Holding, Ian Chappell and Ravi Shastri. But after the store of this marvellous museum, the only person truly deserving of an award is Shyam Bhatia himself.